jerk chicken should take you about two days if you're making it properly. It's not something that you just whip up real quick and throw in a grill. It's really barbecuing, you know, it's, it's controlling your heat, it's smoking it while it's cooking. Hey, this is Kwame Onwachi. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I'm gonna show you how to make jerk chicken the real way. You gotta brine your chicken. You know, that's how you get it really, really juicy, lots of flavor to the core. So we're actually gonna make a quasi jerk brine. So the same flavors that are in jerk chicken, we're gonna impart into our brine. So we're gonna start with ginger. Don't worry about peeling this bad boy. Just cut it in half and drop that in the water. I'm gonna drop some allspice berries in there. I'm just gonna cut this in half. Once again, don't worry about peeling it. All that flavor is gonna come right through that skin. We have some salt, some sugar, and then a scotch bonnet chili. And I'm just gonna cut this in half. So I'm just gonna turn this on and let this come to a boil. So what we're looking for really is just to let the sugar and the salt dissolve into the liquid. It doesn't need to come to a complete boil, but once you see all of the salt and sugar has uh, dissolved into the liquid, you're ready to go. In order to um, speed this process of cooling this down, I've subbed out half of the liquid for ice. And make sure you're always using a different pot to put that in, because if you put the ice directly in here, it's gonna melt and it's just gonna get hot again. And then I'm gonna add the chicken to, to the brine. So this was a whole chicken that we just broke down into six equal parts. Pretty sure you can Google how to do that if, if you can't pick it up at your local grocery store. Let this sit for 24 hours at least. I like to go 48 hours. So we're gonna make jerk paste from scratch. Now jerk paste is a bunch of different ingredients, about 15 different ingredients that sing when they come together. So I'm gonna add uh, my liquids. So we have soy sauce, we have Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. We have thyme, a little bit of salt. Cinnamon, clove, tamarind paste, and I like to use the tamarind for the acidity in here. It's really, really great. Fresh bay leaf. So I added some brown sugar to that. I'm going to just uh, cut these in half. These are more scotch bonnet peppers. We want this to be really spicy. Right now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, about five cloves. And just press down on your knife. The clove should pop right out. You can like just peel off that butt of the garlic. Jerk chicken is more than just dumping a, a jar of uh, jerk paste on chicken, right? It was an act of preservation, you know, from the Tainos escaping the British, the original inhabitants of the island of Jamaica. Climbing a waterfall and trying to remain free, so they didn't want to give up their location, and, you know, they used uh, jerk as an act of preservation to, one, store their food for a long time by smoking it, but two, they didn't want to show the smoke because they would reveal where they were at. So they built it underground and all that smoke got into it. So, you know, you have to have smoke. You have to smoke your chicken. There's history behind it, but there's also technique and there's care. I'm gonna add some green onions to this and I'm just gonna ch roughly chop them up. Once again, the food processor is gonna do all the work. And then the ginger. I love peeling ginger with a spoon. Um, you get the most yield. I don't know why people peel ginger anyway. The skin tastes like ginger. What the fuck? I'm just gonna chop this a little bit. The food processor is gonna do all the work. You do wanna chop this more than you would the other uh, vegetables and aromatics because, you know, ginger is really, really fibrous and you wanna help out your machine as much as you can. Get all that in your hands, put that in there. There's so many things you can do with this paste because it's so flavorful and so robust. So I love having it on deck to add to certain things, just a little flavor bump. On deck means on hand, sorry. Just wanted to, if everybody knows that. You don't want it to be smooth, you want it to be like a chunky paste. That is what we're looking for. It's so aromatic, so make sure you taste it. It's fucking good. We have this brined. You'll see the water's a little bit more murky. That's some of the blood coming out of the chicken. Um, and also some of those aromatics opening up. So that's why I like to do it for at least two days. The flavor goes down into the bone. So I'm just gonna put some gloves on cause I'm gonna really get my hands into this chicken, you know. Let this drain a little bit. Now you don't need all of this. You're gonna save some of it for your jerk barbecue sauce. So remember that. But you do want a good amount on here. Make sure you massage it in there really, really well. So I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap but I'm gonna put the plastic wrap directly on the chicken. 
that way it completely suspends it in that jerk paste and you're gonna get the maximum flavor extraction from this. I'm gonna let this chill out for a day. I'll see you tomorrow. No, I'm fucking with you. I'm still here. Jerk barbecue sauce. This sauce is versatile. We're gonna start with the onions. At the same time, we're gonna turn this on to like medium high. You don't want it too high. You just want the onions to sweat. You don't want to get any color on them. A lot of people get comfortable with just going to the grocery store and just picking something off the shelf that you can easily make at home, like mayo, you know, or barbecue sauce in this instance. I would use this recipe as kind of like a base and then add whatever flavors you want. You can add peaches to it to make it a peach barbecue sauce. You know, whatever's in season or whatever your favorite fruit is, you can utilize that. So don't be afraid. Be the boss of the sauce. It's very, very important. While I was cutting the onions, I was heating up the oil and it's just all ready to go. I'm gonna work on this garlic. So we're just gonna rough chop this as well. Don't worry about it too much. It should already be broken up a little bit if you've smashed it with your knife properly. Use your blade as a tool. So you just wanna sweat the aromatics. You don't want any color on them. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to help speed that process up. Brings out the moisture. All right, the ginger. Once again, we're just gonna cut this up. Rough chop is fine. Just make sure your cuts are consistent so they cook evenly. All right, we're going right in there with this. So we're just gonna let this uh, sweat for about five minutes. I'm gonna add the jerk paste to this, brown sugar, and the ketchup. So just give that a nice little mix. And after you mix it thoroughly, just put it on like a low simmer. So after about 30 minutes, you're gonna look like this. It's gonna be nice, deep brown, like a caramel almost. I'm gonna blend it just so it's nice and smooth. So you wanna do this in batches. I'll probably do just half first and the other half later. That's pretty much it. So there you have your beautiful barbecue sauce. All right. All right, kiddos, it's time to jerk some chicken. Make sure you soak your wood chips. You could use anything you want, apple, mesquite, maple. Pimento is the best. You can get it offline and it'll ship straight from Jamaica. That's what we have here. I'm gonna throw like a nice handful of this directly on the coals, get this smoking up. Ooh, yeah, it's smelling great out here. So you want the grill grate to be hot and that way when you put it on, it kind of cauterizes the skin and it doesn't stick. We don't want it to stick. We want crispy skin every single time. It is the middle of January. We're out here in New York City, so it's cold as shit. But we're all good. We got that jerky jerk. So the most important thing about grilling is really controlling your heat. You gotta constantly check on your items. Now we got smoke in here. So it's gonna continue to impart flavor on it while it's cooking. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on here. We're gonna let that chill for about 10 minutes and we're gonna come back and flip it, all right? Right now, the chicken should look something like this. It should even be browned on the side that wasn't even touching the grill because all that smoke is permeating the skin. And then flip it over and you should have crispy skin right now. We're gonna char this a bit more, but we want it to cook evenly and not just cook from one side. So I'm just gonna flip this. And this is like the color we're looking for right there. Let me get in here, let me show you what the fuck is going on. This is the color we're looking for, all right? So we're gonna let this go for another 10 minutes, come back, flip it again, and just assess it. Oh yeah, we're getting to where we wanna be a little bit. So before we flip, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that jerk paste. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't you know, brother. And this, ladies and gentlemen, may, the, may be the final flip. This is gorgeous jerk chicken. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this jerk barbecue. Doesn't need to be perfect. You just want that flavor on there. You can see the sugars are already starting to caramelize. All right, let's get out of the cold. Let's eat some jerk chicken. It's only right that we eat it as authentically as possible. So I'm just gonna take a nice cleaver and then follow through. And you're gonna see how juicy, look at that. And this is how they serve it in Jamaica. Chop it right there, bone and all. Now we have some more jerk paste. This stuff is really, really great. Finishing it, 
and then the jerk barbecue sauce to finish. I encourage you to like devour this if you've just spent three days making this like I have. And enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, you put all the time into this. Enjoy it. Enjoy it with friends, break bread. If you wanna check out the recipe, click the link below. Or come see at my restaurant at Kith and Kin.